In today's video, we're going to do a combination of techniques. We'll do an emblem up toward the top center of the chest, and then we'll do a standard V pattern throughout the rest. Come on in and check it out. Okay, so we have our sweatshirt. I've already tucked in the one sleeve closest to me. And we'll start as always with our center point, just giving a lift. I tend to flip that end away from me. As you can see, I've already tucked that side of the shirt in. Match up my back points. Give it a little bit of a shake. Now I wiggle my fingers up because I want to try to get that sleeve that's inside out. I want to get that down toward the, the collar of the shirt and then I'll wiggle my fingers back up and I'll give it a couple shakes. I got these sweatshirts at Walmart. They're about eight or nine dollars a piece, but they're fleece, women's fleece sweatshirts. But man, are they just beautiful to work with. They come out, the folds come out beautiful. For the sleeves, as always, um, when you do a long sleeve shirt, you want to match up those inside seams. Otherwise, you won't really get it solidly straight. Then I stretch it out like I was going to stretch a rubber band. And I slide my hand up in with my fingers all tight. And once I get my hand solidly in there, I stretch my fingers up wide apart I'll use the other hand to hold and I'll just pull and gently stretch all that fabric out and it just leaves such a clean line beautiful gotta love it that's when I'll usually flip the shirt around so that the center point of the front is toward me voila beautiful I marked out my diamond first. I usually do my diamonds five or six inches. This one was five. I come out a little bit less than the distance I go. Uh, I, I want it narrower width than height. My V lines, I spread out at two inches apart. Now with this, I always want to do my diamond first or my emblem first. And I'm trying to keep those first three folds of the emblem down to the bend toward this, you know, the center of that point. And then I'll finish out that diamond emblem. We'll wrap it up with a little sinew. Then I'm just stretching it back out and taking one or two lines at a time and redoing my fold for the V pattern. And because of the emblem, the way the bend in the emblem went, you're going to have a bit of extra material under the emblem. It's going to kind of travel in a little different direction. Tighten those back up before we put some more sinew on. And then just repeat the pattern down the lines. And just take care of the bottom with a few little rubber bands. For the sleeves, I like to go for like a 45 degree angle type of thing. Usually gives you the best effects. Now 
So I started with some better blue green for my uh, emblems. I was doing two next to each other. And then I used the same better blue green up toward that side. That's vanilla custard. Palomino gold, golden brown. Back to the blue green. Kingfisher blue. Back to the vanilla custard, palomino gold, chocolate brown. Better blue green. Vanilla custard, palomino gold, golden brown. And we just kept repeating that that cycle of patterns. Wow, it's amazing how that bottom one's getting done too. Wish it was that easy in real life. I usually do most of my pieces either two, four, five pieces at a time. Okay, so. Now we're going to see our final result um, after we put some ice on it and let it sit for about 24 hours. Gave it a rinse and cold then warm then hot water in the sink. Then put it in the washer with Synthropol. It's a textile detergent that stops the dye from reacting with the fabric. After that, gave it a good, uh, popped it in. I did that on hot water and then a uh, permanent press for the dryer. And this was our final result. Hope you like it. Uh, it. Actually, it's kind of funny. Everybody who's seen this so far thinks it's a little guy with a hat for the emblem. But it, it, I, I was real happy. Hopefully you like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You'll definitely be glad you did. It, I really love most. Um, at the bottom of the sleeves, I actually used a color called Sea Foam. It's one of those hit or miss colors. Some items you'll do it with, it comes out like this. Absolutely gorgeous light like sea glass or sea foam it's, it's beautiful um, and sometimes it just comes out kind of flat and blah so I was real happy it came out as a hit this time let me know in the comment section if there's something you want to see some color combination some kind of technique if you got a question on something I'm here to help diverse designs sending you that positive energy living for the better good of all and hoping you are too